Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how I draw stylized portraits. A lot of you guys asking me of how I achieve this kind of style to my drawing, so let me show you. So for this tutorial, I'm choosing the same reference on my old drawing last year. So first thing first is laying out my sketch. In my sketching process, it doesn't need to be always clean, you know. It's okay to be messed with the lines. This is a great way to achieve the loose lines technique. And it is a great way to visualize on what style is going to be. Using my reference, I imagine what styles comes in my sketch and then when I think it is a final, I now add some shadings to it. Also copying a reference is a great way too, because this is a great way to remember all the features of the face, and that's why I draw a lot of faces through a year to remember all that future. So in order to achieve the style that you want, you just need to add some sharpness to your drawing. So as you may notice, some of the famous artists I've known, the only thing that I've noticed in their drawing is how sharpness it is, and look how attractive can they be. So in order to achieve that in traditional way, I also apply the sharpness loop to my drawing by adding some hard lines to my sketch. I let my sketch just be a sketch and also adding some hatching techniques helps too in order to achieve that sharpness look to your drawing. So starting with the small portraits is a great way to enhance your style because this way you can explore many studies in anatomy and different techniques in drawing. I do this a lot for over a month now and I've been really seeing my mistake and improvements when I go look back on my previous practice sketch on my sketchbook. And I'm so happy that my practice of portraits is having some progress to it but you know sometimes it doesn't feel right because I've been drawing the same thing consistently so maybe in that point leaving your comfort zone is one of the best things I wanna do when I feel burned out to my art and it does really works for me also if you draw small portraits repeatedly again and again you're gonna realize that your art has been changing through a style that you want and style is something you wanna draw over and over at the different scenario of reference so that you can expand that into something else. So don't be afraid of taking a sketchbook like this because this is a great way to not hold back. If you wanna draw something, just do it, you know. So except for art tutorials out here on YouTube, I also have a source of video tutorial that always helps me through my study in art for months and that is Skillshare. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community where people like you and I can learn new skills. Whether it's a drawing, cooking, painting, animation, filmmaking, photography, color grading, and you wanna learn all of this, just go to Skillshare. Skillshare has a tons of classes and it is a great way to start your own path of developing your skills by watching it through by step by step. Like Zach Mulligan, it has his steps on how you can improve your videos using his cinematography techniques. Especially as a YouTuber artist, this is one of the useful I've been using for months and it really helped me a lot when it comes to my color grading process. And plus, there is no ads so that you can stay focused on pursuing your passion. And the first thousand people to use the link in my description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video.
I'll be honest to you guys, realism portraits is kinda overkill to me when it comes in my time management so that's why I stopped doing that and go for the style that I'm more comfortable with but my legacy of years of learning realistic portrait would not be banished if you combine that into your style so I recommend you guys if you're not very good at realistic portraits I promise you it would be better if you now start learning anatomy so that you can build up your own style because this way you can explore and try many new things in any style that you want and any mediums too. I know the anatomy can be painful but I know you can do it too. I have a goal for myself too, to make my own original style to community, but the only thing I know so far is even you did not call the drawing my style, and when you posted the drawing is not getting likes of what you expect, I feel that too you know. Well, we have different styles in your own, you just didn't even notice it yet, because it is all there, and more importantly, is just have fun to it. So yeah, I think that's all folks and I hope that helps for those who have been still discovering their art style through art and likewise enjoy their reveal. Bye! Mm -hmm.